Someone's going to be having a bad day today. I, I'm still here, but it's my third video in here. Here we are. Uh, if you've clicked on this video, the shed ain't working at the moment. There's a lot of stuff broken. Specifically for my world is the entire Autodesk licensing system. Everything is offline. Absolutely everything. If you go to Autodesk's health dashboard, their entire thing is offline. But can we just take a moment, though, to point out this on the on the right hand side this made me unreasonably angry you google amazon web services issue and you would never know that the banks are having issues or the entire uk tax service hmrc is having issues or zoom or slack no let's focus on how people can't take fucking selfies with cat ears or play roblox and fortnite look at this the bbc snapchat and i don't even know what the fuck duolingo is are, are offline unbelievable amazon web services down live as Roblox, Fortnite, Wordle, and the PlayStation Network are offline. Who gives a flying fuck in a high win? I'm sorry. This is bullshit. The, the, this is, like, sh actually shameful by news reporting. You've got millions upon millions of businesses right this second that are absolutely crippled. But let's let's concentrate on how Snapchat and Roblox are offline. Like, this, it, it legit it is, it is embarrassing. Ring doorbells are offline, right? That's uh, okay, blah, 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 blah. But this is the bit where the, this first star report, it's hard to say just how many apps have been knocked out by this, but suffice to say, it isn't a short list. It is down to down to dead. Snapchat's off. Fuck off with you, fucking Snapchat. Swear to God. Like, fair enough, Zoom's lizzy. But Roblox, Clash Royale, Live 3's Clash of Clans, Fortnite. Go fucking, honestly, go take a long walk off a short pier. Unbelievable. Unbelie and then right at the end, even the website for the UK, even the website. <laughs> Let's all get upset about how Fucking Peloton and PlayStation and Epic Games and Pokemon are offline. Uh, but, oh, by the way, the entire HMRC is having issues. Okay, un un unbelievable. It's actually unbelievable. So uh, if, you've, if you're having issues right now, it's not just you. It's, it's basically it's Amazon Web Services. I don't pretend to know what any of this means, but one of their services is offline, which is then knocked. Wow, it's up to 59 services are impacted. And one of these, or multiple of these, affect, for example, the Autodesk licensing service. So there are millions of engineers, designers, draftsmen, detailers, architects, site surveyors, all kinds of people who can't work right now. Like, businesses are legitimately crippled. But no! No! Snapchat! Oh no, Snapchat's offline! You can't, you, you can't take a a photo with a filter on to make yourself look better on a Monday morning. What is the world coming to? Uh, but one of the one of the updates says that they're slowly seeing signs of recovery, but it's probably going to take a while. But there we are. So yeah, if if you're firing up your Autodesk software or any software, there's tons of business systems gone offline. So obviously, it's not just Autodesk, but there's tons of business systems offline. It's not just you, which leads me on to the next point. Specifically to Autodesk. Now, I'm not going to shit on Autodesk for the outage because it's technically it's not their fault. It's Amazon Web Services that have got off, gone offline and um, it's knocked Autodesk services off. But surely, right, about 10 years ago, you may remember, depending on your uh, age and generation, Autodesk's software was locked to a, a system based off of activation codes. It was the SLM, standalone licensing model, or they had the network licensing model with, like, license files. It was all, the license was basically locally contained to your business. So you could basically, you could go offline, the internet could disappear, and you'd still be able to work because your PCs would authenticate with a, with a local net licensing server. They got rid of all of that, and they moved to named licenses, which have benefits. They do have benefits. However, at some point, you would like, and this is coming from a complete point of ignorance, right? My, everything I'm about to say is, I was not involved in any of those discussions, and I don't know the ins and outs and the inner workings of it all. However, surely, surely, at some point during all of the meetings and risk assessments that happened leading up to them making that decision to move to the reliance of Amazon Web Services for their entire license model, somebody in those meetings went, hang on a minute. What if Amazon Web Services go offline and all of our customers uh, now no longer can't work? Did, did did that person not speak up? Was that not raised? Was that raised and dismissed? Because this is not good. This is not a good look. It, let's be clear. The fact that this is not Autodesk's fault does not matter for a lot of Autodesk's customers. They don't give a flying fuck in a high wind. All they know is that when they double-click their shortcut on their, on their desktop, their programs aren't working and they're getting a licensing error. They don't give a shit. 
They're not in the least bit concerned about whose fault it is. They can't use the software they've paid for, and that's all that matters to the majority of Autodesk customers. So the fact that their entire network, their licensing service relies on a third party, which can go down out of Autodesk's control, is a huge fucking faux pas. It is, that's a huge clangor. And it just blows my mind that that was either not mentioned in the meetings and discussions and various design reviews that happened leading up to that decision, or it was and it was dismissed. Because, right, let's be clear. Autodesk are a software company. They have probably, I would imagine, thousands of very talented developers. Amazon, again, point of ignorance, but Amazon surely cannot hold a patent or complete ownership over the technology that does what Autodesk needs it to do. Surely it wouldn't have taken too much to just make your own version of it and have self-reliance. Right? Right? There's no, I know a lot of business, it's, it was easier. That's why a lot of businesses have went down the path of outsourcing whatever they need to Amazon Web Services. But a lot of these companies probably aren't the size of Autodesk and don't have the internal talent that Autodesk have. And they've just went, well, we can pay you X, we can pay Amazon X amount of money and get an off-the-shelf solution to make our services work. Whereas the likes of Autodesk, where thousands of developers can probably have just designed something themselves and run it on their own infrastructure. Surely. No? Ah. Uh, Ignorance, but it's not an unreasonable thing to say, is it not? So it's it's just it's mind blowing. Anyway, so with with the Autodesk itself, they do have a health dashboard where they've put out an announcement that says if you put your device, well, I say an announcement. I don't even know where it is. Somebody sent it to me. But there's somewhere buried in all of this is a statement that says if you put your device into flight mode, you'll be able to use your software because it, it'll bypass the online check and just run like in, a, in an offline mode. Didn't work for me. I put my PC, PCs do have a plain mode and it, it, it cut everything and it didn't work. The software still didn't open. So that was a, that was a no go, but that's not really a workaround because the majority of people still need external access, right? You might be remote desktop into something. If you put your thing into flight mode, your remote desktop shuts down so you can't use the goddamn thing. Uh, or you, you've got a connection with data management system, that'll go offline because you're in flight mode, you've cut off the LAN connection. So it's just, that's just not a solution at all. It is what it is. But yeah, the health dashboard is not, it's not pretty right now. And um, about that, how many people actually know that this health dashboard exists? I completely forgot. I'm not going to lie. It was, again, it was somebody that I work with sent me this and I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot this exists. Why have I forgot this exists? Which leads me on to the next point. Autodesk, you've done an absolutely dreadful job of being communicative with your customers. When the license first went offline, I, because I'm, I'm personally, I'm quite technically minded, obviously. I know that when there's an issue with something like a license, that it could be many other things other than me. So I, I know to Google the XYZ to find out whether other things are being affected. The majority of your customers aren't that way. They're not that technically inclined. And go into the forums when I did, there was nothing, absolutely nothing. And I completely forgot this existed. So why, why, why do Autodesk not have a decent facility to communicate issues like this to the customers? This leads me back to something that I raised nearly well, two or three years ago when Autodesk ditched their desktop app and replaced it with Autodesk Access. Autodesk Access is the little desktop app that runs in your task tray, which is supposed to be the portal to your online Autodesk account where you can access all your applications, you get updates delivered, and all that kind of stuff. When it was released three years ago, I hit the fucking roof because it was the biggest regression of any software application I've ever seen and I've ever come across. They had this desktop app, which was colorful, vibrant. It had all kinds of information in news bulletins, forum links, all kinds of stuff. They just deleted it all and what we were left with is a white, empty box. That was it. Autodesk Access was a white, empty box with a link saying, if you want to do shit, you've got to go to our website. I'm like, great story. Fucking great story. What's the point of this? So I ended up having a meeting with the, the product manager of Access, and I was given reassurances that it's going to get better. That was nearly three years ago, possibly longer. I can't remember. I haven't looked. It was a long time ago. And has it got better? Has it fuck? Has it fuck? It's the same garbage that it was three years ago. That app would be the perfect way to deliver critical announcements like this to your customers. Yet you don't. You don't. 
and that that's on you that is really on you so right now you've probably got millions of customers who are blowing up your support desks who are filing all kinds of technical support uh, cases ringing their resellers ringing their, their suppliers going nuts because of a complete lack of communication again it's not autodesk's fault really that the licenses went down although like i said they shouldn't have a reliance on aws but here we are but the communication is just it's it's always been abysmal and it's not a case of lessons learned. This stuff like this has happened in the past. The lessons should have been learned by now. But anyway, I'll knock it on the head there. That's that's pretty much it. This is just basically to say, look, if you've got issues, it's not just you. It's Amazon Web Services, and there's a lot of shit offline right now. Uh, it's uh, it's colourful. It's very colourful. <laughs> the only things that are operational really are Autodesk's actual websites. Oh, in fact, no, their own platform services, which. You've got your own platform services, but you've got this. It's just mind blowing. It, it really is. Like somebody at Autodesk has to now, or a team has to be spawned that goes right. We we have to remove as many reliances to third parties as possible because we take a lot of money off of our customers and they rely on us to work. And I was going to say credit where credit due. There's been very few instances of outages recently. But when you're relying on a third party, you can't really take credit for that, can you, really? It's, it wasn't you that kept them online. Amazon have just had a, a decent run, and now they don't. But, yeah, so that's me. That's all I've got. <laughs> I'll see you when I see you. Toodles. <laughs>